Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Webinar King Webinar of the Week Club and of course the replays will be available on WebinarKing.com. We'll send out the replay URLs. Uh, today we're going to be talking about getting audio and video into WordPress quickly and easily, how to stream MP3 audio and MP4 video from WordPress for free. So in about the next 30 minutes I'm just going to show you exactly how to do that using a free WordPress plugin. So why this is important, well, number one, video and audio can massively increase your conversions. And conversions can either be in the form of money or they can be in the form of email stuff. And I have literally seen, you know, without and with, uh, have seen as much as a, at least, if one's converting at, say, 50%, Another one con with audio, in this case, uh, opt-ins, I've seen it with audio, start converting at 75%. And for sales, you can massively increase uh, your, your conversion as well, depending on your audience and your skill of putting together a uh, uh, video sales letter or something like that. But the other thing is that video content is, is basically it's an easy sell. And what I mean by that is that if you can tell people, hey, I'm going to show you how to do this or that, or I'm going to teach you this or that, and it's a 20-minute video, it's a 30-minute video, that's, in a lot of ways, a lot better. People are more responsive. People are more receptive than saying, hey, I've got this 300-page book. People are just really not interested in that. And the other thing is that audio is still very relevant. You know, it's funny. Every, nobody's talking about audio that much anymore but especially on a page where you're trying to get somebody to opt in audio can be as effective or even more effective than video and it's a hell of a lot easier to do because if you can talk into a microphone you can record video put together an mp3 and have it done in, in just a matter of a couple minutes but i do want to talk to you about um one of the things the, as far as making decisions and stuff, as far as when you're talking about audio and video. And there are really three things that you need to think about. And so we'll just divide them up when you're talking about audio and when you're talking about video. Now, the three things that you need to be aware of are the size of your uh, the size, which I'm talking about dimensions, not the file size. And another thing is autoplay or not. And then the other is preload or not. Now, size, as far as the dimensions, and maybe that's a better word, dimensions. Size of your audio, really, it that's doesn't matter. But on video, you need to know, before you use this plugin, you need to know the width and the height of your video. So is it 520 uh, pixels wide? And that's the width of it is dictated really by the width at which you publish the video. Now, this isn't about publishing video or anything like that, but whatever the dimensions are that you render your video, pretty much those are the dimensions you're going to want to use in this player so make sure that the dimensions fit on your website they're not shoving it over to the side uh, left or right or anything like that just figure out kind of what the right size is for your uh, for your for your page and Joanna asked what about Android if somebody has an Android device or something running Android which I guess a Kindle Fire is or something like that once we put this video on there if somebody can check the URL and let us know that would be great because uh, I don't think I've looked at it on an Android device so that would be a good thing to know we could do that we could know that live before we're done the other thing is that basically you want to decide is it going to autoplay yes or no meaning when somebody comes to the page is it going to start playing or not and typically with audio when it's on a and normally would use audio on an opt-in page I'd want it to autoplay because they're going to come to the page and I'm going to say, hey, this is Jim Edwards. I got a special gift for you. Just put in your name and email, click the button, and you're going to get the cool goodie. With video, 
if it's a video sales letter, then I want that to autoplay as well. Because when they come to the sales page, I want it to start saying, hey, here's the problem. If you don't know how to put audio and video on your website, you're falling behind. But wait, it gets worse. But I, anyway, whereas if it's video for, say, like a course, and I've got like, I don't know, five or six chunks on the same page, I don't want it to auto play. So these are the decisions you need to make. And it's real, it's easy to do. Um, video. Need to know width and height. Audio, don't worry about it. Do I want to autoplay? Yes or no. And then preload is a yes or no decision as well. Now, preload means that it would actually, whether they clicked play or not, it starts loading the file. This is useful mainly with content that you're either selling or like on a blog or something where people are coming to... Uh, get some information that might take a little while longer for them to to get it let's say it's a big file and so you want it to preload so that they don't have to wait for it to download in order for it to start playing typically though internet speeds are at the point now where preloading is not necessarily even really an issue because people who are on cable or high-speed Wi-Fi most videos or most audios it really isn't an issue so the biggies are just making sure that what's the width and height and do I want it to automatically start playing or not honestly that's all I worry about I don't even use the preload or not so let's do some demos and we're going to demo the um, we're going to demo having an, an audio audio auto play on the opt-in page, and then we're going to demo having a video play on a sales letter. 